Good morning, Texans. This is Alan Spear with this day in Texas history for January 20th, 1836. John Sowers Brooks to A.H. Brooks. He writes to his dad that they will leave uh, for Capano to join the Matamoros expedition. Capano was in Corpus, and that's where they were using as a major jumping off point. Uh, Stephen F. Austin and Branch T. Archer to Henry Smith. Details of the security loans are sent to Henry Smith, who they think is still governor. Also, they have reports from Mexican ports that an invasion of Texas is underway by land and sea. Francis Johnson arrives in San Felipe with his and Fannin's orders from the General Council. Edwin Morehouse's New York uh, Battalion continues their voyage after being detained. D.P. Cummings to his dad, writing from San Felipe. He met with Sam Houston and was sent to Goliad. Letters to Mexican citizens say that 2,000 troops have crossed the Rio Grande to retake Bejar. Many of the Mexican citizens are leaving and all troops have been ordered to proceed against Madame Morris. J.W. Robinson, the ports of Mexico are blocked against American vessels. Also, a line of uh, sentinels have been reported along the Rio Grande to prevent any communications with Texas. This all means an invasion is coming. Advisory Committee to J.W. Robinson authorized payments to Andrew Ponton. M. Hawkins to Governor Henry Smith pledges that the troops in Behar support him and will support him by arms if necessary over the council. Uh, Santa Ana to Don Vicente Villasola. Order all communications to be cut with Behar and to block all supplies to Texas. So let's go back to the uh, the last thing. Uh, M. Hawkins to Governor Henry Smith. The men of the Alamo are actually uh, saying that if they don't put Henry Smith back in charge, they're going to march. They're going to abandon the Alamo in Behar and march to uh, to uh, put Henry Smith back in charge. Imagine if, if that would happen. Santa Ana comes in and takes Behar with without without a, a fight. All of a sudden, they can come and invade full board, full speed, and uh, they're you know t uh, Texas would probably still end up being a state, but it'd be a long time before all that happens. All right, that's been announced for this day in Texas history for January twentieth, eighteen thirty six. I'll see you tomorrow.